Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I thought that I would share with you guys the Patrick Star and MAC Cosmetics collaboration set that I got over here. I feel like this is so exciting to see MAC do a collaboration with somebody. This is their first influencer collaboration and I feel like Patrick was perfect for it. So from what I see, he's rolling out with multiple like launches with Mac and this is the first here. This is like the little guide that Mac sends over with PR packages. Very Patrick Star, very sparkly. Look at this. Boom. And then here we have all the information on all the products that I will be sharing with you guys. And I'll also be trying the products on for you and swatching and shit like that. So let's go ahead and get started and show you guys the PR box because I think it's so pretty. Oh, this is the PR box. Very sparkly. I wouldn't expect anything less than sparkly. Okay, so we have two eyeshadow quads, three lip glosses, three lipsticks, setting powder that I'm really excited about, and three lip liners down there at the bottom. I'll show you guys first off the two eyeshadow quads. If you guys did not know about this collection with Patrick Star, it has its own cute packaging that is unique to Patrick Star. However, the eyeshadows inside are existing MAC shadows, and I believe these are some of his favorites that he put together in two little palettes here. Except there is one in this palette called Oh My God that is new. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Goal Getter. This is the Goal Getter quad. We have four eyeshadows here. The first one being Soft Brown, really nice transition shade. We have Amber Lights, used to be one of my favorite eyeshadows. It's just like a beautiful gold. You can really just put this all over your lid, buff it out, and it looks really pretty. Swiss Chocolate, and that's this one right over here. And then this burgundy shade, which is called I'm Into It. These are the four swatches for the Goal Getter Quad. Soft Brown, Amber Lights, Swiss Chocolate, and I'm Into It. Now we're going to move on to the Glam AF Quad. First, we have Brulee, which is this color right here. This is a really good brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight. Really like that one. And this one is Oh My God. And then we have Saddle. Saddle used to be my jam. And Embark. I mean, if there's somebody out there who loves MAC Cosmetics who didn't use Embark with every look when Instagram started, like, show me. Because Embark was, like, the most popular shade along with like brown script. Those two were just everything to me, personally. All right, so here we have the swatches for the Glam AF palette. Brulee, oh my God, Saddle, and in Bark. I swatched these a little better than the last ones. I tried really hard on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Amber Lights just like on my lid to show you guys. Amber Lights is from the Goal Getter Quad and it's this gold one that I was talking to you guys about. I feel like I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in so long because I've been gone for like a month. What's another MAC favorite? For sure in Bark and Brown Script, there was like, what was it? Tanya Burr used to use it all, was it, oh, Woodwinked. Oh, I love Woodwinked, yeah, that's the color. Spiked Brow Pencil was my shit. Um, Studio Fluid Foundation, Fix Plus has always been in my life. You have a lasting love story. Anytime I wanna do my makeup just really fast, what I like to do is put the eyeshadow all over the lid and then take a clean blending brush and just kind of blend the edges. So I'm gonna be filming um, a tutorial for this hair. Right now it's looking a little end of the day. It didn't look as magical as it did yesterday, but I'm doing a tutorial for that, so look out for that. Let's go into Saddle from the Glam AF. I'll just kind of run that through the crease just to define it like a little bit more. Do you guys have any holiday plans going on? Any parties? Um, any themed parties? Any fun makeup looks you guys want me to do? I don't even know what to film anymore these days. I want to keep doing a lot of tutorials, but I just need like look ideas all the time, you know? So for the brow bone, I'm going to use Brulee. Only put the brow bone highlight right 
in the highest point of your brow bone not to like take it all the way around because then it'll drag your eye down if you put it anywhere else. Let's go ahead and do a little concealer under the eye so I can show you guys the setting powder because the setting powder to me is like the most exciting product. It was the one thing that the moment I saw the pictures of what he was coming out with, I was like, give me that powder. I'm gonna use just my Becca concealer and then maybe like mix it with a little shape tape. I got so sick the other day. I haven't really gotten that sick in a while. Now, you know, like right when you're sick, your face just feels and looks tired and you feel like dry and just shriveled. That's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm shriveled, Marky. I'm shriveling. My lips are peeling like you would not believe. Honestly, my face is repelling makeup. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. I looked like E.T. when he was like, All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. This is a LC Cosmetics sponge. At first I was like, oh, this is like too big for me, but now I'm like, I like it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use tan sand. So I have like a darkness here, so I like to put a little bit of a warmer concealer there. What else is new? Okay, well, uh, my aunt, mi tia, ya tiene un Instagram, okay? She has entered the social media world. If you guys don't know her, if you guys don't watch my snaps, she is just the light of my life. She's my great aunt and she is so hilarious. Like I just don't know where she gets it. The other day she asked this woman, um, oh, you have two boys? And like she has two kids and she's like, yeah, one is like 16 and one's like 27 and she goes, the 27 year old could be for me. And I was like, Bitch! no filter, no chill. I think Yoli Glow is actually gonna come give her a facial. I'm like, oh, it's like that now, okay. Here she is, this is the set powder. The one product that I myself feel the most excited for. I've actually already tried it. I'm gonna try it again on camera for you guys. Colorless, ultra fine with a matte finish and goes for $34. It comes with a sifter, but I take the sifters out of my translucent powders um, with my tweezers because I like to dip beauty blenders in there. It says colorless, but you know how like a Laura Mercier translucent powder is a little bit more like yellow? This goes a little bit more towards the like pink as much as I pack this on, it doesn't feel heavy or like I'm packing on a lot of product. It's unlike any other translucent powder that I have personally used. I did notice this will give you a really, really bright under eye, like really bright. So just be mindful of that. I tried it two ways. I did this and I packed it on really heavy. And today I actually just dusted it on with a brush and I felt like I liked that method better for me. It set and looked really good under my eyes the whole day. This has a really natural finish as far as like the texture goes, it just melts into your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. Let me just condense my thoughts. What I love about this powder is that it looks like skin. It has a really nice finish, so finely milled. I honestly have not tried a translucent powder that is this fine, and I like that. For a no makeup look, I feel like I could use this under my eyes like dust it and it's still untraceable. So that's the powder. I'm just gonna go back in with saddle on my lower lash line so I don't look pricey. But I'm gonna use my little Dose of Colors pencil brush. A light little dusting here. I wonder how hard it was to do a setting powder. I imagine it's really difficult to do any type of setting powders, foundations, concealers. Wait, this is oh my god right here. I think I'm just gonna pop this in the inner corner for little glitz. I just lit that shit up. Every time I apply this part of my makeup, I just think of Steven because his favorite thing about my makeup is the inner corner highlight. He says it does something for him. So let me put on a little mascara and then we'll be back. Next in the collection, we have three lip liners here. We have mahogany, we have brick, and we have edge to edge. So edge to edge is like a mauve tone. Brick is a really nice wine tone. And then mahogany is, you know, 
That's just mahogany color. I'm just gonna swatch them for you. This is brick. All right, there's mahogany, and this is an intense reddish brown. And lastly, we have edge to edge, and this is like a mid-tone dirty blue pink. Then we have these three lipsticks, the really pretty Patrick Star limited edition packaging here. This color is Mama Star. I think that's so sweet. Named it after his mama. I love that. She's really cute. Did I get it on myself? Oh my god, do I still have Cheeto fingers? I think you do. I do. Oh, I'm so nasty. I cannot get it off. I'm gonna apply this Mama Star color for you guys. No lip liner. It's actually nice not applying a liquid lip right now because my lips could not handle it. So this is Mama Star. Pigment, incredible. Max lipsticks are really nice and creamy, have that really good smell to them, like cookies or something. And it's a satin finish lipstick. I really like it. The next color we have is She Better Work, Work It Girl. So this is one of their matte finishes here. This is gonna look really, really good with my sweater right now. I haven't seen you apply a pink lipstick in forever. I know, how long has, have I worn, has it been since I've... Like two years. I used to wear pink lipsticks all the time. I like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to work it one time for you, Patrick. Lastly, for the lipsticks, we have Patrick Wu. How crazy is it to have a Wu lipstick? for yourself, Patrick. You know, Riri Woo, Rihanna had Riri Woo. So this is a pretty iconic lipstick, Ruby Woo line with MAC. And this is also a matte finish lipstick. Ruby Woo is also one of my favorite red lipsticks when I think back to like my MAC favorites. I love how these apply, so nice. Once I get my lip line straight, then I feel like I could fill it in. Oh, I love this red. I feel like it's just one of my faves. This is definitely like on my list of things that I would pick up from this collection. Oh yeah, let's do a little work. You like what you're seeing? <laughs> okay. And there is also three matching lip glosses, which you could wear on top of the lipsticks or you could wear them by themselves. This one. Look how pigmented, do you see? This is like a gloss that you could just wear by itself without the lipstick. Since we have Patrick Wu on right now, let's try this right on top. Oh, this is sexual. Holy moly. This is so pretty. I love it. I love it. Hello? Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Describes this one, which is Patrick Wu, as an intense bluish red. Bluish reds is what makes your teeth extra white. I love bluish reds. And then we have She Better Work. And this is a light warm pink. And then we have Mama Star, which is a pink cinnamon color. All right, I'm gonna try the other lip glosses on by themselves for you. We're gonna swatch Mama Star. Look how pigmented that ish is. I fear that I'm gonna get these swatches on me somehow. Oh yes, oh yes. You know, this year is the year of glosses, I'm telling you. Gloss is back. They're just like youthful. Also, my lips can't handle matte lipstick right now because they're about to fall off. This is a really pretty color, like almost like a your lip color, but better. I bet you my mom's watching like, why didn't you name something after me from your collection? So that's Mama Star, really pigmented. Really pretty. I like this as like an everyday, everyday lip gloss when you're trying on a bunch of lipsticks. This is where having no foundation like comes into play. <laughs> Lastly, you better work. Here we go. One swipe. All very true to color. This is like a little too blue tone for me. It scares me a little bit, but I think it would look better for me, this lip gloss, on top of the lipstick that goes with it. Or with a lip liner. Kind of makes me look like I'm cold. Like my lips are slightly blue because I'm cold. 
All right, guys, so that is the whole first release from MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Star. This collection releases December 14th, if you guys are interested in picking it up. Yeah, let me know what you guys are most excited to buy. So for me, the things that I would pick up would be the Patrick's Powder, love this stuff, and the Patrick Wu Gloss and Lipstick, which is the combo I have on here. I think it's so pretty. Perfect for the holidays. This is really cool for you, Patrick. Congratulations, and thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Ugh. Hold, please. Setting powder, which, hello. Oh. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. For his fans, because Harper's barking. Off with the eyeshadow. Hey, cannoli.